40 pounds. It is the Polish power, Ivan Putski. And his opponent in the corner to my left from Steubenville, Ohio, weighing 250 pounds. Here is Bill Dixon. Bill Dixon to square off against the Polish power, Ivan Putski. And Bob Backlund continues. Incredible. Coming closer and closer. Back up to the match now to join action. Taking this commercial break, Monday night, November 21st, is the next date for professional wrestling in Madison Square Garden. And the matches are nothing short of sensational. Featuring Pat Patterson taking on Ivan Koloff. Mr. USA Tony Atlas opposing big John Studd. Superfly Jimmy Snuka is matched against Sergeant Slaughter and the return bout. The masked superstar and Bob Backlund for the World Wrestling Federation title, November 21st in Madison Square Garden. Ivan Putski displaying some of his Polish power. Yeah, he doesn't have to, do, uh, to display any counter hold. He just powers himself out of it. <laughs> Unbelievable sums of punishment that Ivan Putski takes. And with his style of wrestling, you know, with that powerful style, you'd have to take an awful lot. Yes, but you know, Vince, I've said it so many times, uh, he's not the biggest man in wrestling. He's not the size of Andre the Giant, of course, or the size of John Studd, but his strength and his experience and his own style makes him a top wrestler. He's been undefeated for so far, for quite a long time. strength, uh, you would not think that Mr. Dixon would do all that well at all against Ivan Putski. Look at the pectorals on Putski. Well, sometimes it, it's so tempting to try to see how powerful the guy is. Well, even a man like Dixon, well, it's still it's tempting. powerful, and you're right. I would think it would be a tremendous temptation to find out just how powerful your opponent really is, or for that matter, whatever their skills may be, the speed, the agility, whatever it is they're noted for, you almost want to, if you're a competitor at all, you want to put up to the test. Yeah, you you probably know he's going to take you down, but how much can I? How much of a hard time can I give him? That's probably all they feel. Green break, Putski and Dixon. Thus far, pretty much of a scientific match as far as it goes. Although we haven't seen any great number of uh, scientific holds. Oh, right across the chops. Ricked his face down to the chest. That last one more into the chest. Putski to the rope, shoulder block. Oh, my, to the midsection. Oh. Oh. Dixon almost landing on champion Bob Backlund. But I hope not. It would really uh, destroy his concentration. You know, he's speaking of destroying his concentration, you wonder what's going to happen when the mass superstar comes into view later on this week. Well, gosh, I'd hate to see anything happen. Bob really, really wants to, wants to do that. Well, I'm sure he must be... I bet you Bob Backlund does not know that Superstar is wrestling this week. Bob really wants to do that to inspire... Uh, Eddie Gilbert. Eddie Gilbert. And how many wrestlers would want to do something like that? Well, Mr. Backlund and, uh, and Arnold Skolin credited for being one of the chief reasons for the comeback of Eddie Gilbert after his automobile accident. And they're right back at it again. You know, so many, rest, so many people stop me on the street or airports and ask me, is Bob Backlund really that good? Is Bob Backlund is really, Pat, really in great condition? Uh, believe me, he is. I've never seen, in all the years I've been wrestling, a wrestler in the condition that Bob Backlund is. I've never seen any professional athlete in the condition that Bob Backlund is. I would, I would match Bob Backlund to any athlete. You're correct. I would. He's an animal when it comes to working out. Dixon against the rope. Reversing it there with Putski. Mm. Ivan Putski with a right hand. A series of them now. Dixon, wound up. Ooh, a bullish hammer collapsing him. 
to three count. Ivan Putski victorious. Here, here is the time. Four minutes and 26 seconds. Here is the winner, the Polish power, Ivan Putski. Ivan Putski victorious.